Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Y'all know I don't wait. I'm going to just jump in. Plus, I have an appointment on the way, so I want to make sure that I get my points across before it um my appointment show up. So, it's crazy. Yesterday, I actually um was asked uh, by a customer who was in the store, um, what makes me different? What makes me different from, you know, other healers or other people who, I guess, walk the path that I walk? And I was like, there's nothing that makes me different. I'm the same as everyone else. The difference is, as far as my technique and what I believe in, is that I probably believe in you more than you believe in yourself. I am in a space where I really strive to make sure that people are tapping into their internal power, their inside strength, what they are connected to. If we are all operating with the same tools, techniques, um, divination, whatever the case may be, everyone has the ability to tap in. Everyone has the ability to do whatever it is that you desire. Words are power, all of that good stuff. All is mental. So if you truly believe that, then you understand. And when you are in a space where you start seeing that for real, then you recognize that no matter what, literally, what someone tries to do against you, any words that are being spoken against you, any energy that or shade that's trying to be thrown your way, you are easily able to dismiss it. You are easily able to rectify or correct the situation. It don't even affect you because it ain't even powerful enough to even entertain. It's almost like that net that's bothering you while you're outside at the picnic. That's how irrelevant it is. So my number one mission has been um, making sure that I'm giving you information, making sure that I'm always raising awareness on your inner ability, your God gene, your, your God aspect, your connection to the source, however you want to look at it. What are you doing to connect? What are you doing to put yourself in a position where you're operating from a higher consciousness? Because if you're operating from a higher consciousness, you're not affected by anything else. You operate, you move differently, you make decisions differently. It's almost even um, in the sacred circle that we do on Sundays. The thing that I had brought up was, hey, when you really are exhibiting and acting and understanding and executing self-love, you move different. You think different. Your choices become different. Everything shifts. Not from the superficial, not from the surface level, because we all can say, oh, yeah, I love myself. Oh, yeah, da, 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 da. Sure, I do. People quick to say that. But are your ways and actions and your decisions showing that? Because if it is, guess what? You're going to see it. You're going to see these things manifest in people life. I can even speak from my own personal, because y'all know I love to share my own personal story. My own personal self. Like, I have, like, interweaved in and out. I've always known who I am. I've always been very strong um, in what my abilities are. But I've always straddled the fence. We and my girlfriend have a joke about, like, you know, keeping one foot in and one foot out. And I've always straddled the fence until more so recently. In the last couple of years, it, it shifted because it had to shift. But for my whole life, pretty much, I did that weaving in and out because of different dynamics. And that's a whole nother video. But eventually, you have to get off the fence. Eventually, you have to stop weaving in and out. Eventually, you have to decide, am I going to really walk in my power or am I going to you know, stay over here on the sidelines. It's very important for us to, you know, walk in our power. It's very, it's a necessity even, especially at this day and age, especially in the shifts that are happening for us to walk in our power. So do that. Understand what your gift is. Understand that no one, like, 
like the word says, no weapons formed against you shall prosper. This shit is real. All right? I love y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Walking in your purpose. Walking full of passion. Doing what it is that your heart genuinely wants to do. This year probably was rough for some people. It should have made you wiser. It might have been rough. But really go back and say, what did I learn? And how can I use it? I love you. Bye.